Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, returning with our complete beginner's guide and our deep elf conjurer of the human. We just finished the Orcish Mines, and we're not going to bother with the other part of Orc 1 because it was devastating. I kind of want to poke around um, on Dungeon 11 and see if we can take out some of these hydras that we were finding perhaps a bit easier than before. <laughs> now, this is not the ideal location for that hydra to be, but let's see what we've got. All right, so I can cast Ignition, but I think what I should do here is cast Swiftness and then walk away until this guy is not directly upon us and we're starting to slow down a bit. Um, and now from the staircase, let's see if we can cast any spells at this guy. So first of all, let's just see what, um, you know, Lightning Spire there and then a Fireball here does. Now our Lightning Spire should shoot this guy Theoretically. Let's just check what Ignition does. All foes are engulfed in balls of fire. The caster and their allies are protected from the fire and will never be harmed. Sounds pretty good. Does uh, 3 dice 12 damage. The fireball, on the other hand, does 3 dice 15 damage. So, a little bit more powerful right now for just this guy. Okay, and we hit it for a ton. And let's just drop a fireball like up here, and it's dead. So there you go. One Hydra down. Not the cleanest, but it'll work. A seven headed Hydra. Okay. So in this case, we're going to put up our spire and then just give this guy a fireball. You see, the uh, lightning spire will just periodically shoot lightning at the guy. There's also a good chance that the... You see how there's a question mark on the Hydra? That's because he's like, I don't know who to attack. And he might go attack our Spire, which is beautiful. Just make sure you don't hit your Spire, and then you're good to go. So Spire is great for just, like, diversion and just extra damage. All right, here's uh, a Maimon, and let's see. Uh, we can poison this dude, so this should actually be no problem. I miscast. Give me a break. Okay, there we go. We got it confused. I'm just going to ignite poison and it's all over. What you got? Demon whip. Beautiful. Okay, let's keep exploring. That's the end of Dungeon 11. So just that little burst of power there, getting lightning spire, was all we really needed to clean out those guys. And we can go down and... Just try to finish out Dungeon 12. Now there's a Frost Cave here, which I don't really want to have anything to do with. And to be honest, I don't want to fight this Gargoyle that close. Now, a, a Troll, no problem. It's gone. Okay, so let's go ahead then and go back down see what we can find that wave of frost I don't really care about going into frost cave as I'm sure you've seen I don't really like it at all I'm just going to go ahead and put a fireball here and he's gone skeletal warrior so skeletons don't care about poison but they don't like fireball. Nobody does. Um, or these guys don't care about anything. They have the thing about skeletal warriors, though, for real, is they just have so many hit points. So, you know, we'll go ahead and step back, and I'll put a spire down. Step around, and the spire has killed one. 
We'll just kind of put a fireball on that guy. Put a fireball uh, here. That's fine. Fireball on him. Almost there. Almost out of fireballs too, though. All right, I have one MP, but the Lightning Spire just, you know, MVPs it. And that's how good Lightning Spire is. You know, you put that initial investment of spell points into it, then it just rains it. Uh, Gargoyle. Let's see if... Oh, okay, good. I was worried about that, but Fireball's just fine. All right, so Lightning Spire is 2% fail, Ignition is 4% fail, and if we wanted to get um, Maxwell's, it's down to 71%. So just a... Oop, we got marked. We got to go up the steps. So basically just a little bit more. Yeah, ouch. All right, Rhyme Drake's coming at me, but Rhyme Drake's don't like that. All right, we'll go ahead and go up the power the the mark is off anyway. So let's think about this. How high do I want to take fire magic? I don't think I want to take it any higher. I think I'm fine with it where it is. Well, it'll increase the power level of the spells. Okay, it's fine. Shadow moves out of view. Alright. Fireball. And... Shift Z, fireball right there. And we got more experience because we killed the shadow. Get this. Potion of magic is great. Here's the frost cave if we cared. Um, is it still open? Wow. I mean, we don't have any resist cold. I'm not going to go in. I could just poke in, you know, look around. And I'm just not going to risk it. There's too much that could give us trouble. Pack is full. We definitely want the Wand of Acid, so here's what we gotta do. We gotta go ahead and identify this scroll. Hey, hey, it's a Quirement. Well, that's really good. Do we have any unknown potion? We do. Let's go ahead and identify those. Potions of Might. Okay. So at this point, we're gonna drop um, the Hand Axe of Freezing, the Dagger... Um, we don't need any of these weapons. And we don't need a plus zero robe. We don't need this robe. Um, we don't need this old cloak. Scroll of Torment we'll never use. Enchant weapon, unlikely. Can't use enchant weapon on a magical staff. Um, you know, potion of berserk rage. Nope. Potion of might. Nope. All right. So now we have enough room, and let's go ahead and read our requirement scroll. What can we get? Well, how about that staff of fire? Um, that's pretty fantastic. The minus one pair of gloves of limited liability is a hilarious name. So. They don't do anything good for you except give you Rampage and Resist Cold, but they make you louder and they subtract from your armor. Um, so that's pretty pretty bad. Staff of Fire is not a tremendous thing. The gold is pretty high, but there's no way I'm taking a War Axe of Flaming or these gloves, so I'll take a Staff of Fire. And you can see, um, for example, we can switch off of the Staff of Fire, but if we... Um, if we pick it up, we will become vulnerable to poison again, um, but check this out. Something like ignition, right? 4% fail, okay? Um, and it's 41% power, 3 dice, 12, right? But if I were to wield the Staff of Fire and check that out again, Shift-I, ignition, You'll see that the field percentage goes, is the same, but it's now 3 dice 14 at 51% power level. So it's just a boost in power from our spells, but not a boost in um, damage. I'm sorry, uh, <laughs> spell casting and fail rate. However, 4% is fine. You do get a pip of resist fire as well, but we might just kind of switch between them. Right now we're sticking poison, but that's a nice thing to have. Oh, and we got a condenser vein, which is also a quite 
nice thing to have. All right. And um, we'll go ahead and put this right there. Oops, there. More experienced. And let's see what Vhuman is giving us. We've got the extended range on our spells. And they're doing more damage. Magic power from killing. So just all the good stuff. Boulder Beetle was nearby, huh? He must be um, north of us. So let's go ahead and poison the guy. And he's rolling now, which is less than ideal. I'm going to see where this guy is. Uh, mm -hmm -hmm. Oop, okay. Where, where'd he go? Oh, he's below me. Okay. And so all we need to do at this point is poison him again. He's going to pick up speed. We'll fireball him and we'll ignite the poison and he's gone. Boulder Beetle was really scary. If he hit us, he could legitimately kill us. Plus two cloak is just better than what we have. So we'll get it and we'll wear it. Get that armor class to 11. Oh, it's nice. It's purple. Two-headed ogre. Just poison the guy. Put a cloud on him. Oh, he got confused too. Jeez. Poor dude. And as soon as he gets a little bit closer, we'll just ignite the poison and he's gone. Okay. Sixty-three percent on coupling. It's pretty sweet. The dragon roars. Let's just wait for it. Here it is. Gone. Wraith, okay. Gone. Alright. There's still a bunch of spells that I do want. Um that leather armor doesn't let you teleport, so we're not gonna take it. I'm going to walk onto this alarm trap. It'll mark us, but um, it should be fine, and it is fine. All right, so that means that we're done with Dungeon 12, and I'm not going to go any deeper because uh, we can go to the lair. The lair should be fine for us, theoretically. Here's a Knoll Sergeant who wants to get spicy. Did you drop your buckler? Oh, there's more than... There's more guys here. I didn't see that. Okay. Um, anyway... Oh, he dropped his... Uh, he does. He has a buckler. Let's get that. And did we get the scroll of teleportation? We did. It's terrific. Did I check this shop out? Oh, no. Look at these. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I already... Put, yes, I did. I put this on my shopping list. Yeah, this ring is tremendous. It's nine magic points and four intelligence. Um, so we're buying this right away. I forgot about that. Yes, buy it. And then you can see what rings I have right now. Like I have the Ring of Willpower. And we'll just replace that. If I, for example, you know, Ignition 4%. Check it out. Ignition 4%. 3 dice 1241. If I put on this instead of Willpower. We go here. And we're down to 3% fail on Ignition. And it's 3 dice 13 at 44%. Um, because of the intelligence boost. And we just have a huge magic mana pool now. So, amazing. I'm going to check, like, Fireball, where are you at? You're, at, you're only at 40% power. Goodness gracious. It's pretty wild. My conjuration skill isn't that high, is it? Nah, I could, I could raise that. I think I am. I'm going to turn off spell casting and fire magic right now. And I'm going to throw on um, dodging and evocations. Just don't level up so easily. All right, ring of flying and strength. That's cool. Level 13. 
ring of sea invisible that could be helpful just in case i'm just pretty much fireballing everything um but you know if we see more yeah like in this case we'll just start poisoning things And you could see our evasion right now is it uh, by the way at 13. Hmm. All right, fine. Cane Toad's annoying because he is doesn't care about getting poisoned. we go uh i'll just fireball it's fine here you go with the extended range fireball is just so nice i could really use a helm Now, I did pick up a buckler, so I'm considering uh, putting on a buckler, but if I want to do that, I'm going to need to raise shields, and we'll need to raise shields enough so that it doesn't disrupt our spell casting, because right now it would. It's not too hard to do that with a buckler. Just going to keep toxic radiance and then oh we're getting battle sphere okay <laughs> that's pretty tremendous all right so battle sphere is a great spell it's a fifth level conjuration spell and it's a huge boost so we don't have any enough levels yet to get it but we're getting there black bear there's another buckler how about that i'm just putting in poison and igniting it and it does the job all right so do i have an amnesia scroll i don't we're going to be looking for those I searched for it. Nope, didn't find it. Okay. Let's just see how many yaks there are on the screen. Good amount. You can see how quickly all of our spells are just going up, or our skills that, that we're leveling, uh, that are low level right now, because these guys are just giving a tremendous amount of experience to us. So we can really make good progress on a ton of stuff right here. All right. Okay. Necromancer, what can you do? Uh, he can put agony and all kinds of other bad stuff on us. So let's go ahead and give him poison and then just ignite the poison and he's gone. And then simulacrums, remember, just don't ever sleep on these things. They can be so much harder than you'd care to believe. The Mamba. All right, great. Evocations is just nice to boost our wand game a little bit. All right, that's a lot of simulacrum. That was a lot of simulacrum. Okay. Uh, go ahead and just blast this guy a little bit. I didn't want to do that, but forced my hand. If they can be poisoned, it's just game over. I'll just kind of move over here, let the whole yak gang get on the screen. And blow him up. This guy is still here. He was here. He's gone. Evasion up to 14. Shield 7. Now, if I go into my inventory, 
I look at my buckler, you'll see that it's um, encumbrance rating five and uh, we can reduce the penalty on spell casting if we were to wear it. All right, so we used to need to get it around four, but I think maybe we need to get a little bit higher than that. We're just gonna kind of feel it out. All right, this guy's sick. Okay, that's just another reason why Ignite Poison with Poison is just so helpful. It's just extremely efficient. Well, there's a Book of the Sky, so we could have saved our money if we would have known, but how could we have known? Well, we set some stuff on fire down there. You could start some pretty roaring forest fires if you get out of control. Komodo Dragon. All right. Now watch this. If I go to my this screen, everything's at one ignition three. Now if I were to just say, you know, where my buckler, okay? And I went to this, you could see everything's at one and ignition goes to four, which means that the buckler is really not bothering me hardly at all. And I get five shield just by having it on. We're gonna raise it up even more. Where'd you go, Boulder Beetle? Down there? Oh boy, here they come. <laughs> there they went. And we're just going to remove the penalty, obviously. Uh, okay. It's a shame. Oh, don't hit, don't hit yourself. There you go. We are getting a little bit lower on magic points, but that ring just really helped us out so much. Right, there's the spider nest. Spider nest should be pretty straightforward. As long as we can see invisible, we should be fine. By the way, now that I, um, if I go to my inventory and I look at my buckler, it'll tell you right here. Um, do 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 do. No, it only, maybe it only tells you for weapon if it's how much it's slowing you down, but um, we can just look at this and you see it's still slightly disturbing us, our shield, but barely at all. All right, blast this dude. Hi. All right. Now watch out for the forest fire that you're about to start. Moto Dragon. All right, and our shields are now at 2.6, so. Okay, we're just poisoning everything and igniting it. You can even poison these dream sheep, of course. They're just sheep after all. Now, you want to make sure you give this boulder beetle space to be on the screen so you can have enough time to poison it before it bashes you. We hit a teleport trap, and we just killed a bunch of blink frogs. 4% still. Bog body. Not our favorite, but goodbye, forest. Oh, boy. Yeah. Dude is strong. I'm actually going to... Ooh, there's some cool gloves there. I'm going to take that escape hatch and just rest up and go back down. Teleport is so good. Okay. Well. Evocation's doing just fine. Just keep poisoning and just letting them die. We 
we got marked, so let me just go up the steps as quickly as possible. Nah, it's not working that great, so... This is a good time to use ignition. And you see how everything just dies. Yeah, that's ignition. We'll get some better looks at it later, but that was just like, you know, you just target everything on the screen and you blow it up. It's fantastic. Once you can get a spell pa caster going, right, they start to become incredibly powerful. And there we go. All right. We got our evasion up to 16 already, by the way, just by training some dodging. And we'll just go ahead and poison this guy and blow him up. And he's gone. Plus one gloves. What do we have on? Well, better than what we have. So let's wear some plus one gloves. Awesome. Electric heal. Just use a wand of fire on this guy. Wand of flame. Save your magic points. Blow it up. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean to disrobe. Oh, no. That was odd. All right. Anyway. Okay. I think I must have pushed the wrong keyboard command there. Am I not wearing something? No. I just pushed the wrong thing. I was trying to poison the guy. Just keep igniting their poison. And there's a swamp. Komodo. Great. Five-headed Hydra. Oh, it's right below us. It's less than ideal. All right, I'm going to cast Swiftness. And run. I'm going to go up. I'm going to go some down someplace else. I'll, I'll fight a Hydra. That's no problem. I just don't want to fight it from that close. Ah. <sighs> It's sometimes hard, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. In a place like this. Because, um... Yeah. Gonna have to teleport. Almost got killed. The central point there is just so difficult because it's got this, like, forest around it. So we, we just don't want to fight anywhere near it. I don't even know if it's worth me clearing it out, to be perfectly honest. But if we do want to clear it out, the way is uh, to go like this. And we'll just kind of go into it from over here. And then we'll just yell to attract people to us so they'll, they'll fight on our terms. Theoretically. If not, we can just burn the whole forest down. Actually, let's just do that. Sweet. Alright, let's go back up. And see... How things are going. Now that we've done a little burning. And we'll just kind of... Uh, cast another fireball over here. And I just want to open this up. So I'm just going to wait. It's pushing five. Here we go. Death Yak. Perfect. Poison this dude. He's coming at us through the flames, which is awesome. Just let him take some damage and then just ignite it. And he's gone. And we'll just wait, wait, wait. Okay. And that's good enough. We're going to run. Now, we did get a really good spell. Um, BVC, or... Borgnior's Vile Clutch, however you want to say that, is actually pretty sweet. There's an eight-headed Hydra that's coming on, so we're going to cast Swiftness. And run. And from here... Uh, let's see. 
can we kill an eight-headed hydra with just fireball? Let's see how much damage we can do. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and step out, and I'm going to summon my Lightning Spire, step back, and the Lightning Spire is blasting this dude, and he's gone. And it's fantastic. Beautiful. All right. Five-headed Hydra. You see how these Hydras are yellow now? There it is. Level 14. How about that? All right. So this is a good experience. It's just a dangerous area because we can't really see very well. So it's, you know, anti-nature, this plan that we have here, but it makes it easier for us to just fireball and burn down these forests so that there's no surprises or minimal surprises. Oh my goodness, two scrolls of blinking is enormous. Oh, that's so great. Uh, flail of protection. Meh, meh. Sweet. All right. That is layer three, and we're rocking. So we are 14th level now, blasting stuff apart. We are wearing a shield. We have a shield skill up to six. We can cast all of our spells, no problem with that on. Um, we're almost even able to cast Maxwell's Capacitive Coupling, which is ridiculous. Um, and we've got Lightning Spire, Ignite Poison, and some more layer to do as we level up. And everyone, we're doing great. This is a good place to end the episode. I want to say thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you're finding it helpful. Post any questions you have in the comments below, and I'd love to help you out with this game. Take care, everybody.